Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about the Ultimate Micro RPG book. And uh, what I want to talk about today is the Silver Standard games that are in this book. There's 40 books. There's 40 games in this book. So what I'm talking about to today is if you choose to purchase this game, how should you experience it? What game should you play first? What game should you play second? What game should you play third? And what game should you play never? Right? Because I think there's a lot here, and I, I don't want people to get this and then waste time on, on games that probably should never be played from this. So I've read this entire book uh, cover to cover. I've read every single adventure in it, uh, you know, every single one of these one-page games, and the page is back in front, so it's really kind of two pages, but you, you, you get the idea, right? Um, and so I want to just kind of give you the... Today I want to show you the silver grade, right? The five second, The five games in this book that win the silver medal, that podium, right? All right, so uh, so let's dig into it, right? So A number one is Hammer of the Earth. Uh, really exciting. This is a concept. So I don't know if anybody's seen this, but there's a Snowpiercer. It was a movie, and now it's a series. And it's a train going through an apocalyptic uh, snow world. This is the same thing if the train is larger and going through a forest, right? Just really brilliant concept. So it's like... Uh, an apocalyptic world with the last train ever. And basically, you are doing everything you can to keep this train going through the forest. You're like, what? You know, and so it's really, really interesting. Uh, I'll just give you a little bit of it. You live on the hammer of the earth, the last bastion of civilization. It's a gargantuan train, each carriage housing 10,000 souls, navigating an endless network of tracks, right? Brilliant, brilliant idea. Just really tight and fun. And here's the other thing. is like, you know, this is... The idea is so cool. And again, you're not going to run a two-year game with this. You're going to run three, five, seven sessions. And there's enough meat here to get a game that your players are going to remember forever. If you're a train fan like I am, this is just brilliant. I love it. Very, very cool idea. This next one, an absolute masterpiece. Silver level game in here. Really must be played. Absolution in Brass. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a game of guilty steampunk cyber... Uh, the game of guilty steampunk cyber... Guilty steampunk zombie cyborgs. Uh, this is a steampunk game with gears and cogs. And it's kind of got a little bit of an ennui to it. Um, but the, the, the concepts in it are just brilliant. Right? So, like... Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, just the concepts in it, like there's proximals and medials and distals. Uh, the, the proximal shards, the medial shards, and the distal shards. The mirror death, the half smile, the fountain ferment, the beauty that was, never village, the hardened garden, right? The concepts in this game are just stunningly beautiful. I think steampunk is really on the way out. Like, you know, uh, I love that description of steampunk when goths discovered brown. Um, you know, and, and I think steampunk is on the way out. But one of the great things about these two play these two page games is you're in and out. You just have fun with them for three, five, seven sessions. You're good to go. It, it This thing is just gorgeous. I love this game. And uh, Absolution and Brass is a masterpiece. Next is Heartbeats. What is Heartbeats? <laughs> it's delightful. This is St. Elmo's uh, um, in uh, Grey's Anatomy house as a tabletop role-playing game. This two-page game will let you play house as a, as a tabletop role-playing game. This two-page game will let you play St. Elmo... Um, St. Elsewhere's... I think it maybe was St. Elsewhere's. Um, the old one with George Clooney. When George Clooney was in a... In a, in a a television medicine, you know, a television hospital show, right? This is television hospital shows in two pages, right? And like, there's enough drama in those stories. I loved House. I've never watched Grey's Anatomy. I know there it has thousands of fans, millions of fans, right? You can run Grey's Anatomy with it. You, you can run um, uh, Saint Elsewhere. You can run um, House with this. It's you know, The Resident. All those things, you know. It's really fun, and this can bring that to life very, very quickly. Look who wrote this. Keith Baker, the uh, the creator of Eberron. That's pretty cool, right? That's really neat. It's fun, right? And uh, so the next one, oh, boy, do I love this. And, uh, yeah, so this is fourth in the list. By the way, I just want to let you know, these are in the order of how good they are. So if I said them first, they're the best. 
If I said them last, they're the, they're the worst in that grouping. But these are all silver medal games, right? I highly recommend playing these games from this book. Uh, Tales from the Corner Coven. Listen to this. Horrors and the bodega cats that slay them. So you play a bodega cat that plays that kills supernatural monsters. Come on. What, do, what more do I need to say? Like, you had me at bodega cat, right? Uh, just love this, right? This next one is really a beautiful, brilliant little game. It's called With Sword Heavy in Hand. This is the story of a sword master who has had a companion. And they had a falling out. Something went wrong with the companion and now the companion has to fall. For one reason or another. So this is two sword masters who maybe they were romantically involved. Maybe they were... Uh, one one trained the other. Maybe they they fought back to back in a in a really important war. But now one of them has done something, and the other one must hunt, hunt them down and take them out. Brilliant, beautiful, cool story in a single page. This thing is rock solid. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, uh, and the and this is the last of the five silver level games for the ultimate um, the ultimate micro RPG game. Uh, book and I really uh, go get this thing, man. Seventeen U.S. dollars. It's got forty games inside of it. One of I think it's one of the best products that came out in twenty twenty. Love this stuff. What's your experience with micro games? I'd love to hear it. Micro RPGs. What's your take on them? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.